Hello, Scorpio. This is Trudy. I'm your angel medium, your Porchu Gypsy angel medium. And this is your February 2020 reading. I'm using the Gilded Tarot by Cyril Marchetti. And this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If you find that the reading resonates, great. That's flipping awesome. I love it. I love the synchronicities of when it does resonate. And if it doesn't resonate, please keep in mind that these are general readings. It applies for Venus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, and your Sun sign, which is probably the one that you're watching. So for a broader perspective, please check out the videos, the other videos that are in your chart. Also, you can definitely cross-watch. I love cross-watchers. You are all welcome. Um, you know, but if you find that the reading doesn't resonate with you, you may want to get a personal reading, a personal exchange of energies, which I certainly look forward to. Click on the description box below for all the instructions. And we'll make it happen. I definitely love a personal reading. Or, also, you're more than welcome to go check out another YouTube reader and keep your nasty, ugly complaints out of my comment box. It's not a complaint box. It is a comment box. So, I do appreciate your comments, not the complaints. Love you so much. Um, on with the reading. Let's get to shuffling here. I was guided to shuffle these upside down. Bear with me. All right, let's do it the other way. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, February 2020. What is going on? We just had Happy Chinese New Year. Qing Yan Kuai Long. So it is the year of the rat, and I was looking into, um, you know, the significance of the year of the rat, and it's actually a year where we are supposed to stay away from... Um, westernized medicine we are supposed to be taking ayurvedic healing and natural plant medicine and you know natural remedies um other ways of healing other than other ways of healing other than taking a synthetic form of a substance Ugh, synthetic form of a substance there we go all right so i'm going to cut the deck Look at that on the bottom of the decks. So here, Scorpio, if you're dealing with uh, the judicial system, it is going to work out in your favor. This is like your ancestors coming out to defend your honor. This is, you know, karma and dharma unfolding accordingly. All of your positive actions that you've taken in this lifetime unfolding in your favor, might I add. All right, but the most dominant energy. Gifts are being given. You're focused on your time. You got your time on your money and your money on your time. You don't have time for BS. You rather focus on your money. <laughs> um, and then also, you know, like you're receiving gifts, okay, so like it could be a, a loan being granted, it could be, you know, a credit limit being extended, um, it could be you simply receiving jewelry or painting or getting a ride somewhere that's very far away and the, the ride turns out to be free. This is a gift of great value, okay? And then even though you're receiving this gift, you feel like each man is here for himself. Like everybody is in it for themselves. Like you have to defend your turf or you're going to lose it. Um, it's not that they're in it for themselves, but like if you don't, you know, if you don't defend your turf, who's going to? Somebody's going to come and tread over your, your turf and take it from you. We're talking about turf and territories. So I don't know why it came up that way. It's like turf and territorial, but it is. Kind of like a dog that's being kept in a cage. I'm feeling like someone's trying to impose on your turf or tread where they ought not. It's none of their business, none of their concern, but they're still trying to. Okay, and so like, you know, you're focusing on something else. You don't want to focus on on the fact that everybody's here, you know, fighting each other, so to speak. 
No, you're going to focus on the good aspects of life. You're going to keep doing what you do, mind your business, stay in your lane, and do your thing, which is make that money, honey. You're doing so good, Scorpio. You're doing flipping awesome in terms of time and money. Like, for real, for real, I got my time on my money and my money on my time. And even though you're doing that, you're still, like, you're having a hard time sleeping. You're up at night. Something's keeping you up at night. You're the night owl. Do you see the owl there? And she's got her hands crossed over her heart. So it could be affairs of the heart that are keeping you up at night. It could be a tightness in the chest. It could be um, sleep apnea, I'm hearing. For some of you, it may be related to the circulatory system. Um, but what is it that's keeping you up at night is not, those are physical manifestations of why you're staying up at night, but what is it that's truly keeping you up at night is something emotional, something internal, something that you have brought on. Um, and, and like really, really, it's coming up here, the Empress. You are the Empress, right? But why would the Empress be staying up at night? No, the Empress does not do that. She does not stay up at night. Something's keeping you up. I'm going to find out. Oh, actually, this makes perfect sense. So, like, it is affairs of the heart, and you feel like someone's betrayed you. It was talking about each man being in it for himself, and you don't want to think about it that way, but there is betrayal, treachery, deceit, and a potential even breakup. A breakup that hurts more than just two people could be three parties involved or it could be more you know like it doesn't have to be three but this is definitely more than just two people there's third energy which had no place there there was the interference you know this is not the two of hearts the not the two of cups this is the three of swords and it is stabbing the heart in any which way direction okay so I like to call this one my Archangel Michael card the Ace of Swords. It's an Ace for starters. This is your outcome. So it's an Ace. It's the Ace of Swords. All battles are over. All battles, major battles even, are going to be fought with this sword like it's like Excalibur. So any problem that you may be faced with is going to be handled in a manner that, gosh, it's like so overkill. Like did you guys ever watch The Matrix and Neo at the end where he's totally evolved? He is like dodging bullets and he's just like barely making any effort to dodge the bullets. That's how, you know, problems are going to be surging for you and you're going to be taking them on and eating them for breakfast like, what bitch? That's my, it's my problem and I got this. Because you know why? Because not only are you the empress, I can't even make this up. We got these three for this one on top, this one, Empress, right? Like that. And then I got the Magician here. So you're highly intuitive, highly in tune. You're abundant. You are the perfect match for the Emperor. But not only that, you are a grand manifester. You know how to use. I mean, here she is in control of all of the Zodiac. She's the mother of the Zodiac, okay? But he uses air, fodder, fire, earth, water, fodder, <laughs> fire and water, fodder. My dyslexia is just unbelievable. But the magician uses air, earth, fire, and water to create something from nothing. He uses the elements. He uses what is readily available to him to create something new and magnificent and magical and he's creating from his crown chakra okay right from the top space of his head so this is a very powerful card my lovey doveys because what are you creating you know you feel betrayal in terms of the heart and that's why you're sticking your nose in the books and staying focused on your money and your time because somebody broke your heart and you feel like you can't trust this individual. So when you sleep at night, you're sleeping with one eye open and with one hand on the dagger, ready to stab a bitch. 
But let's pull some romance cards. Let's see if this is actually a romance reading that we got for February, for Valentine's Day. Um, you know, I was saying for those of you who are single and if this doesn't resonate because you're single and it feels like a romance reading, Valentine's Day is like Independence Day for the single ones. I'm a single one and I am going to be celebrating Valentine's Day as a single person and it's Independence Day. Because being in a relationship sometimes feels like being shackled and, you know, ball and chained. It doesn't have to be that way, but it certainly can turn that way. Wow. So the messages that you're getting here, Scorpio, I'm only going to pull out three of these. This is, by the way, a prototype for a deck that, a, a romance deck that I started working on in Nicaragua. And then I never finished the drawings, the illustrations for it, but um, I want to share with you. So it says here, share love. You're being stingy with your love and the other person is therefore going to be stingy with the love that they reciprocate to you because you're not sharing so much. You're not sharing of your mind. You're not sharing of your heart. You're not sharing of your actions, of your time. You're being frugal with your time, right? So you're being encouraged to demonstrate and share love and share more of yourself. You're also being encouraged to be organized with your time and diligent and strategic, not just, um, you know, without an agenda, without a schedule, without an idea of how you're going to move forward. No, you need to have a plan of execution to adhere to like bullet points that you're going to, you know, scratch off the list or whatever, you know, completed and check, right? So also you are going to be needing to heal and restore yourself after this huge heartbreak, you know, you can't bleed on someone who didn't cut you. So maybe you're taking it out on the wrong person and that's what's leading you to need to heal and restore yourself because this is from the past. It could be from a long time ago past or it could be from a recent past, but it's like you're dealing with a different person now in the way that you wanted to, like this other person that you're dealing with that you're feeling like you need to sleep with one eye open, they're not the ones who did this to you, but this is still in your heart. So you need to heal and restore this so that you can effectively create what needs to and what you want to create for yourself, my beautiful Scorpio. I hope that the reading resonated for you. I love you. Love me back. Love yourselves. Love everybody around you. Mwah.